She's basically a blonde husky. But everything has been shrunk to two feet tall. My name is Jordan, and this is Bean's story for GOB. She was found at the side of the road in Baja, California. She was pregnant when the rescue first found her. So I don't know if someone just kind of let her go because she was pregnant or what her situation was then. She had her puppies in the foster home and she found her way to me. Bean had this big smile in her adoption photo and that was like, this is my dog. Her puppies got adopted as well. When I first met her, I realized how small she was because she ends up being only like 35 pounds, which is pretty small for a husky mix. She's not afraid of strangers at all. She came up to me and like was wagging, very happy. Yeah. I cut her head and I was like, oh my gosh, she's so much softer than I expected. She's developed grumbles for different things. Oh my goodness. If she wants to go for a walk or if she's just bored or if she wants attention, there are slight nuances between her grumbles that we have been able to decipher. What do you need? Her needs are not being met, she'll let us know. We should arrest it, obviously, in front of those, but sometimes she just needs to remind us. One of the biggest compliments I've ever received was that someone said that they've never met an owner and a dog that are so similar, which is the nicest thing anyone could say because she's so sweet. She doesn't love to cuddle. I wish you'd cuddle more, but I wouldn't respect her boundaries. Whenever we come in through our front door, she will always be at the top of the stairs, just kind of peeking out. She knows that we're going to greet her at the top of the stairs, so she'll just wait for us there. Hi! Yeah? My husband is a sucker for the pet, so she'll go straight to him. So she loves him for that, but she's definitely more attached to me, I think. People always say that your dogs get separation anxiety, but I feel like I get separation anxiety when I'm away from my dog for too long. She's an extension of me at this point. If I go on a walk outside without her, I'm like, this feels so bizarre. It feels like a piece of me is missing when we're not together. I'm a photographer and she is my favorite subject. 